taking a disk volume level snapshot and getting out of there as quickly as possible. And they're like, the last thing we want to have happening is for people to be aware that we're in this critical time so that they'd be trying to do things as well. Um, so this is, this is hidden. So what happens is we request the, the VSS snapshot. The request goes out uh, to the server applications and so on in the virtual machine. And we get back a, the snapshot's done, and here's your identifier. Here's your GUID that tells you the snapshot's done. So this is a bit problematic because by the time we get this GUID, the server has continued running, and now our virtual machine and its virtual hard drive are no longer data consistent. It was data consistent in the past. It is no more. So how do we handle this? Well, we send the, the GUID back up to the parent. And the, and the parent knows that at some point in time, we had this, this moment when we had data consistency and the, the GUID was, no, when the snapshot was taken. What we then do is we basically mount, uh, and I won't go into the details because this is a bit gruesome, but we effectively mount a read-only copy of this machine's virtual hard drive in this data inconsistent fashion. And once we've got that read-only copy mounted, we use VSS on the parent to say, take this virtual hard drive back to the snapshot for this GUI. And that gives us an image of the virtual hard drive, what it looked like here, uh, up here. And once we have that image, we're then able to say to the parent instance of BSS, okay, this is what you want to snapshot. And the snapshot happens here, and it doesn't actually back up the virtual hard drive that the virtual machine is now running on, but it backs up the virtual hard drive as it was when this snapshot was taken. And this gap is usually you know, relatively small. This is realistically just a couple of seconds. But you know, it's you know, the difference between data consistent or not. So the important thing is you go through all this, this flow. And at the end of the day, what's happened, you know, and once, once we complete and this snapshot's taken, it's sent back to the backup application, which then writes these files uh, in a data consistent mode off to some backup media, be it tape or a network share or so on. And so at the end of the day, what's happened through this is firstly, no one stopped running at any stage. You've done this while your server applications were running inside your virtual machines and your virtual machines were running and there was no uh, disruption to service. The second thing that's happened is the, the VHDs for your virtual machines that are off sitting on your backup storage now, are now completely data consistent. And this has two advantages. The first one is, if I ever you know, restore that virtual machine, I you know I lose data and I restore that virtual machine, any server applications in that virtual machine, you know, like Exchange or SQL, are actually going to be fully aware that, hey, I'm coming back from a backup. So they're going to go through the routines where they, you know, they assume that, hey, I don't know what know what day we're on, this isn't where we were running from. They're going to come up, they're going to reestablish their environment, they're going to realize that they're coming up. Um, it also means that you're guaranteed to have not lost any data in this. You know, there's no risk of, of, of data corruption. The final thing that's, that's really kind of neat uh, about the, the doing the VSS uh, snapshots this way is we actually have technology that allows you to connect a virtual hard drive to the parent partition and access it like a, a standard disk. Now, because the VHDs in this backup are data consistent, you can actually take a VHD from that backup, mount it in the parent, and retrieve specific files and know that they're going to be data consistent. So let's say you know the, the scenario I've talked about here is your, your virtual machine's dead, you want to restore it. But let's say this was you know a file server, and it's not that your virtual machine's dead, it's that one of your users deleted one of their critical files, and you want to get it back. You know, obviously, if, if that's the case, you don't want to be restoring the entire virtual machine because you'll be punishing all the users who didn't delete their files. Instead, what you can do is you can go and get this data consistent virtual hard drive from your backup, mount it, and retrieve just the files for that specific user and copy it onto your, your running virtual machine. So as you can see, while both actually very correctly use the term snapshot. 
because you know, the snapshot is a point in time image. They're conceptually very different. You know, one's about capturing the running virtual machine, the other's about capturing you know, the data consistently for a backup. So to recap on the names again here <laughs> for VSS, uh, what are we're up here referring to the volume snapshot? So yeah, so then this is VSS is actually kind of an annoying an a, uh, acronym because it's a three-letter acronym for a four-letter title. So VSS stands for uh, Volume Shadow Copy Services. Um, they just drop the C in the middle. Um, so we say we have a VSS snapshot, which is what we use the Volume Shadow Copy Services for, and it's for backup. And we then have our virtual machine snapshot, which is meant for the development and test, you know, hands-on user uh, going through and wanting to create point-in-time images that they go back to as they're going through their workflow. Okay. Okay, so one of the things we also want to know is um, what happens if what happens if the virtual machine is actually, let's say, Windows 2000 or Linux? Yeah, so that's that's actually a very that's good question. question is what happens, so this whole flow that I've talked about relies on the, the child guest operating system having VSS support. And what happens if it doesn't have VSS support? Well, what happens there is when we get to this step, we realize there's no VSS available in this virtual machine. And rather than doing this step, what we do is we put the virtual machine into a safe state. Then we take the backup, and then we restore it. And this isn't pretty, I'll be honest. This has a number of downsides. The first one is you are going to have a window of downtime involved. Usually it's only going to be in the vicinity of a minute or two, but there is a window of downtime involved. The other thing is you know, all of this cool functionality that I've talked about with having data consistency is not there. So, um, you know, all, all the cool functionality about data consistency isn't happening. Um, so if you don't have, if you're running a guest operating system like Windows 2000 or Linux, which doesn't have the VSS support, the taking a, a VSS snapshot is really only useful when you're planning on doing a like full VM failure. I want to restore the VM. You know, if you're looking at the scenarios where you want to get files off that backup, no, that's not.